Richard Ehrlich. I am Assistant Provincial Representative in Jardin Province. I am 25 years old and my hometown is New Haven, Connecticut. Jardin Province completely encircles the capital city of Saigon and has a population of approximately 1,400,000 people. I am responsible for all USAID sponsored programs in three districts. The purpose of the Revolutionary Development Program is threefold. First, to foster community development and basic democratic institutions in the hamlets and villages in the countryside. Secondly, to give the people the tools and the knowledge they need to carry out projects on their own with some government assistance. And thirdly, to assist the people in realizing projects that they feel they need most for the development of their own hamlets and thus, through the cooperation of the government and the people, bring about a closer identity of the Vietnamese with their country as a nation. My job is to assist the district chiefs in carrying forward these programs with the material assistance of the Agency for International Development. The most difficult part of my job and the most difficult job for the Vietnamese government officials is to overcome the suspicion that the people have of the government from times past and to instill in them the hope that the program can be successful. And little by little, hope is fostered in the minds of the people that their government is in fact able to carry out legitimate government services for the people in the countryside. This is the hamlet of Phuc Lok Tone. This hamlet has a population of approximately 1,300 people, of whom about one half are fishermen and the other half are rice farmers. Presently, the only approach to this hamlet is by river, by boat. When we originally asked the hamlet chief what were the kinds of projects that the people in the hamlet wanted most. The first project they wanted was a maternity dispensary because right now women in labor must be carried all the way into Saigon which is over an hour and a half by boat and sometimes this is dangerously long. We asked the people if they were going to be willing to contribute labor and something to the cost of the project and when they agreed, we then approached the Vietnamese Marine Corps, who had a battalion posted in this area for security, if their soldiers would be willing to help the people of the hamlet. And it wasn't long before everybody was working together, and now the project is nearing completion. This is a revolutionary idea because in times past, the government has always been an identity that only taxed the people and only drew from the people and rarely, if ever, rendered any services in return. Now the fir for the first time, we are witnessing government operations that are meant to directly and materially assist the life of the people and to help them participate in the development of their hamlets and their villages. Although Phuc Lok Tone is located only four and one half miles south of Saigon, because it is not served by road, it is almost completely cut off from the rest of the country. To date, the people have already, of their own accord and on their initiative, built up from the mud a road three and one half miles long and about five yards wide. This has involved 90,000 man hours of work. 
once the road is completed and the bridges are completed, the people will be able to commute by bicycle into Saigon in about 25 minutes.